You know, there are just some product categories that are really difficult to get right. And one of them for me is cleansers. I mean, when it comes to toners, essences, serums, moisturizers, I don't feel at a loss for choices. But when it comes to cleansers, there's like two that I use. <laughs> because it's just hard to find that one cleansing product that meets all of my needs. I mean, am I being too picky? I really need my cleansers to be low pH, 5.5, please. I need those cleansers to be totally fragrance-free. I'm talking artificial fragrance-free, essential oil-free, and let's throw in the fact that I don't want alcohol in my cleansing products. And I need that cleanser to clean my face effectively and yet gently, right? I don't want any squeaky clean feeling here. Is that too much to ask? It seems like it was, you know? Those are some requirements that I think a lot of us have, but can be difficult to find all three of those in just one product alone. So I challenged myself to go out searching for more cleansers than just the two that I always use. So give this video a big thumbs up because today I wanna to share with you five cleansers that met all three of those requirements. Low pH, fragrance-free, effective, but gentle on the skin. So let's get started. So first up is the Hamish All Clean Green Foam. This is $12, which has always been my personal sweet spot with cleansers and pricing. And for that price, you get about 150 grams, which I would find to be about a standard a size for a cleanser. Now, not only am I going by the published <laughs> pH levels, but I actually also tested these with my own uh, pH strips at home because I gotta be thorough. And this does actually read right at 5.5 on my um, home pH uh, testing strips as well. So this is perfect. Now let's talk about the texture because I was really surprised by this texture. And really, my best way to describe this is almost like petroleum jelly because it really is like a jelly cleanser. It comes out looking like petroleum jelly. It is kind of a thicker type of texture and it is quite cushiony. And then once you kind of start to work this onto your face, it starts to foam up. It's very interesting texture. Foams up really, really nicely, cleans the face very effectively. And don't let that first initial kind of jelly-like texture fool you because this rinses away so easily so cleanly, no residue, nothing like that. So don't let that initial texture uh, fool you there. So this was really impressive to me for so many reasons, right? I am really impressed with this because this did not leave my skin feeling tight. This did not leave my skin feeling even just the slightest bit dry. Now, just to let you know, my skin fluctuates between seasons. I uh, do struggle with dryness year round, but I am a little bit more combo in my T-zone. Uh, three seasons, right? Spring, summer, and fall. But come winter time, the entire face goes totally dry and my dehydration levels go really high as well. And guess what? I tested this cleanser in winter time and it passed. It passed the, the test, right? So this was very, very, very impressive to me. Um, this didn't take one ounce of moisture. It's so affordable, right? It's so effective. It is so gentle and respectful to your skin. You know what I mean? This is actually probably going to be my number one cleanser that I recommend now because it's affordable. It is accessible. I mean, Hamish is pretty much available in all K-beauty shops, right? And I really see this being able to work for all skin types. I even think that this will work for oily skin types because yes, it is a little thick when you first apply it, but it breaks down into this thin, really lightweight foam and it cleans the skin really, really nicely. So I do think that this will work for all skin types even the most sensitive, and this is actually the most affordable cleanser on the list. I mean, you just can't go wrong here. I totally recommend this one. Next is the By Wish Trend Green Tea and Enzyme Powder Wash. Now, this is really my pick for those who have really oily skin or who are acne prone, because I really think that this cleanser is actually gonna serve you the best. Now, this is an enzyme uh, cleanser, and just kind of like a hint, usually uh, cleansers that call themselves enzyme cleansers 
most likely are going to be low pH because the enzymes just naturally have a slightly acidic pH level to them. So if you're ever kind of like not sure, you know, you're starting your low pH journey and you're never sure quite where to start, an enzyme uh, cleanser is definitely uh, usually, a usually a safe bet. It truly is a powder. I was so impressed by how fine this powder is. And it just, as soon as the water makes contact with it, you've got your cleanser. It's completely dissolved and I never felt any grittiness, any graininess when I was working this into my skin. Now let me tell you, this is a cleanser that runs for about $22 a little on the high side, and um, you only get about 70 grams of product for that. And heads up, this bottle is only about halfway full. That is not a mistake. It seems like a mistake, but it's not. The The bottle is much bigger than um, how the product is, and I don't know if that has to do with it being such a fine powder. You know it doesn't take up as much space. Not really sure. I've seen a lot of reviews kind of complaining about that or maybe thinking it's a mistake. It's not, there is 70 grams in here. It's just not a full, full bottle. All right, so let's talk pH because this was a really interesting little uh, testing that I did here. I used my home pH testing strips. Uh, I mixed this, this powder with water, right, to test it because you do need it to be in a semi-wet or liquid state. And um, I was really, really shocked almost to, I had to test this three times because I felt like I did it wrong. Um, I was shocked to get a reading of 6.5. That surprised me because this is a cleanser that markets themselves as a low pH cleanser. So I was really shocked to get this 6.5 reading. So I started to go down the rabbit hole of research, right? And I was, I was, I was kind of thinking like, how does the water, right? This is a dry cleanser. It has to be mixed with water. How does that affect this? And that that was actually the right train of thinking because I came across this resource on Wish Trend about this cleanser. And um, they stated that the pH level of this cleanser is between five and seven. What? That is a huge range for a cleanser to be in, right? Um, but they actually said this and this makes so much sense depending on the quality of the water you use to mix this cleanser, that is going to affect the pH level. That makes sense. That makes so much sense. The powder itself is low pH, but then once you use this water to mix it in, that is going to affect it. The hardness of the water, the quality of the water, not, you know, no two water sources are the same. There's so many factors involved in that. And it made so much sense why I was getting about a 6.5 on this instead of the 5.5 or even the 5 that I was expecting to get in my pH testing. It has to do with the water that I use to mix this. So this cleanser smells like green tea. It almost smells like a matcha latte. That's like the first like scent memory that I got. As soon as I smelled this, I was like matcha latte. <laughs> the green tea content in here is so high that you're getting that natural green tea scent off of this with absolutely no fragrance in the ingredients at all. Really, really cool. Now, as I stated before, you know, the granules are nice and small. So this dissolves in water immediately. You get no abrasiveness. It's a nice Nice thin cleanser that does uh, clean effectively. It does feel like it is cleaning your skin really nicely in just a really nice, lightweight, uh, very low foam kind of experience. And uh, it does wash away cleanly without any type of weird residue and it washes away easily. The thing about this though, and this could come back to the pH thing, this did feel a little drying on my skin. Not super stripping by any means. I didn't feel like my skin was squeaky clean or stripped, but I did feel just the hint of dryness to this that really just sort of naturally led me to not use this cleanser every single day, right? Uh, there was just a little bit uh, to this, and it does make sense because a lot of the ingredients in here have oil controlling properties, you know? I don't have any oil on my skin currently, so I don't need oil control. I, I need the little bit that I have to stay there. So for me, this actually, for my skin type, I really wouldn't recommend getting this one. I think that this is gonna serve best oily skin types, and I definitely think it'll be great for combo skin. I'm definitely thinking about saving this one for more of the spring and summer when that T-zone starts to get real nice and shiny, and I think that this is gonna serve me perfectly then. So let's say you do have dry skin, but everything about the Wish Trend Cleanser sounded really interesting, like travel-friendly, liquidless 
this cleanser using the gentle power of enzymes. This sounds really good to you, except the wish trend is probably not the best thing for you. Well, stay tuned because I have one that is going to fit the bill for you perfectly. This is the J Cosmoon Cosmetic Immunity Enzyme Cleansing Powder. And this is really an enzyme cleansing powder that is perfect for all skin types, even including dry skin types. And what I truly think that is the secret sauce to this cleanser that I think, you know, what makes this work so well for dry skin is the fact that it includes beta glucan. In fact, all the products in J Cost Moon have the power of beta glucan, which is a lovely ingredient that is very hydrating, but it also has that touch of moisturization to it. It's a very balancing ingredient. It does work for all skin types, but I think that that is that little bit of secret sauce in this particular enzyme powder. Now the granules on this one, you will notice are just a little bit bigger than the wish trend. But don't let that fool you because this does dissolve in water like immediately. And here's where that beta glucan comes in because when you mix this one with water, there's just a little like slip to this one. It doesn't just feel like powder dissolved in water. It feels like a nice hydrating powder that dissolved into water. There's a little nice, uh, a slip to this that helps to keep the moisture on your skin. I mean, truly, you get this onto your skin, it feels really thin, it feels lightweight, it spreads beautifully, it rinses away cleanly, it cleans effectively, but that little bit of beta-glucan in this cleanser, I think is what allows this to just maintain every ounce of moisture on your skin. Interesting, uh, I did test the pH of this one mixed with the exact same water source that I used for all of uh, the enzyme powder uh, washes on this list and this one did read right at 5.5 perfectly where we want it to be so clearly i'm impressed with this i mean especially coming hot off the heels of testing the wish trend powder cleanser uh, and feeling just that little whisper of dryness on my skin i was so pleased to discover that this one doesn't have that feeling and it, it is kind of nice to know that even when you're suffering from dryness you don't have to compromise um, especially if you're looking for travel friendly cleansers i can't stress that enough enzyme cleansers are my favorite to travel with because I'm that girl, <laughs> I'm the carry-on girl. I don't check luggage. Uh, the one time I checked luggage in the last, I don't know, like five, six years, it was lost. Uh, it was lost, it was like, it was like a major situation. I did get my uh, luggage back, but I didn't get it back until I returned home two weeks later. So um, I only had uh, two outfits the entire time that I was in France. <laughs> The next cleanser is from Solved Skincare, Coconut Water Cleansing Foam. This is the cleanser that I really run, want to recommend for you guys who love a satisfying clean. Maybe, maybe you are one of those people who actually enjoys a squeaky clean feeling on your skin, but you know that that squeaky clean feeling is not a good sign, but you enjoy the feeling of that satisfaction of a really clean face, but you're reforming your high pH ways. This one's gonna be for you because this does give that really satisfying clean. Your skin feels clean, right? But it doesn't feel stripped. There's a difference, but it does have that really, really great clean feeling to it while still being low pH. And if you love a good bubble, you're gonna like this one. This comes in a self-foaming pump bottle. So once you pump it out, you get this nice little cloud of foam. Once you work this onto your skin, it, it feels exactly as you would expect a, a foam cleanser to feel. Lightweight, spreads well, cleans really nicely, cleans very quickly on the skin, washes away, rinses away nicely. But while this one makes your skin feel, like you're not gonna question like, is my skin clean? It's clean, it feels clean. This doesn't strip moisture and that was really interesting. Um, it was just a really interesting feeling to get that like satisfaction without the, you know, without the doubt in your mind, but with no moisture loss, especially on really dry skin. So I really appreciated that. Uh, it does claim to be a 5.5 cleanser. And yet when I tested it at home, I did read a little closer to six. There are always fluctuations in batches, but I thought I'd just throw that out there. This is a 5.5 cleanser, but I did read it slightly higher. As I mentioned, Solve Skincare is really new on the scene and they are currently 
a Soko Glam exclusive. So you're really only gonna find this cleanser at Soko Glam, just heads up. Uh, I don't know if you can get this through like a Korean buying service, but right now your best bet is to go to SokoGlam.com. This retails for about $23, and for that price, you're gonna get 120 milliliters of product. And I just wanna put out there that there's no coconut oil in this product. There is coconut water, 75% of coconut water, and it's definitely not the same as oil. I, I know that the fear is that coconut oil is going to clog your pores. Um, coconut water, on the other hand, happens to be one of the best hydrating waters for your skin. Um, I love a good coconut water product. Uh, it, it's one of those types of ingredients. I've tried it in many different serums and toners and um, even in this, this product. And coconut water has something very special about it that really allows it to deeply hydrate the skin. Um, I've always enjoyed it, especially for dehydrated skin. So it is different from oil, um, and there is 75% of it in this cleanser, and I think that that is one of those uh, secret special ingredients that makes this a little bit different. I think that's why you can get that really satisfying clean off the foam without feeling the stripping um, a feeling that usually you usually get when you feel a satisfying clean, that coconut water can make the difference. I do think that this is gonna be great for all skin types. I think those who are especially oily and tend to get that like thick feeling on your skin, you know, cause just that buildup of all that oil on your skin, you're gonna like this probably the most just because it's so lightweight, it breaks down that film so easily. Um, you're gonna like this one a lot, but even all the way up to dry skin types are gonna appreciate this one as well. So love this, um, really nice new discovery. It may uh, require you to go a little bit out of your way to find it if you're interested in it, but if you can get it, I think it's worth it. And I could not complete this list without talking about Crave Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. I know, I talk about this a lot. You guys know that this is the cleanser that I've been using for nearly a year now. It's the one that I always show in my routines. It's the one that I'm always talking about. Now this does retail for about $16. For that price, you get 120 milliliters of product. Crave is um, an interesting brand. They are a, a hybrid American and Korean brand. So if you live in Korea, you can get Crave Beauty. If you live in the United States, you can get Crave Beauty. If you live anywhere else, it can be difficult. It can vary. There are definitely ways around it, but I do know that it can be a little bit more difficult outside of uh, those two areas to get Crave, at least currently. This is a cleanser that reads at 5.5, even on the home pH uh, testing strips. This is a cleanser that has a beautiful jelly texture to it. This is a little thinner um, jelly than the uh, Hamish cleanser, but it is actually quite similar texture. And I think that that may be the secret sauce between both of these of why they are so moisture maintaining on the skin. And this is, one of those cleansers that you may be like, I don't know if it's cleaning my skin effectively. Once you do rinse it off your skin, you do realize that your skin is, it is clean, but you may not be familiar with it being so hydrated after cleansing. You know what I mean? It makes you question if your skin is clean, but it really is, it really is. And that's what impressed me about this cleanser. It is so moisture maintaining on the skin. Um, this is gonna be great for all skin types, I think, um, but especially those who struggle with cleansers just kind of being slightly irritating on the skin, slightly drying on the skin. This is one of those good ones to look at. So, I mean, like I said, I wanna keep it short on this one. I have been using it for nearly a year. I've purchased three bottles can't get enough of it. I I really, really love this product. I'm so happy to find that type of product that really met all of my needs. Uh, so I really do recommend this one. And if you can go out of your way to get it, I think it's worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that roundup of low pH and fragrance-free cleansers. You know, I really wanted to uh, update my recommendations for cleansers because just like me, I know a lot of you struggle to find cleansers that fit the bill. So I really hope that this video helped you out. And I am curious to know what cleanser are you currently using right now because I'm always looking for new ones. So let me know in the comment box below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, but you did get value from this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I release two new Korean skincare focused videos every single week, and don't forget to ring the alarm so you never miss when those new videos are released. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I can't wait to see you in the next video, and we'll talk soon. Bye.